this is going to be a different type of video. This isn't going to be about some funny Instagram meme page or a little Facebook trend or some video game that everybody stopped caring about four years ago. This is going to be about a genuine threat to Australian free speech, horrific abuse of power and numerous crimes enabled by one man, the New South Wales Deputy Premier, John Barillaro. Friendly Geordies is a YouTube channel and one of the best journalists in Australia. Run by Jordan Shanks, this very attractive man here, the channel normally runs exposés on some of our more corrupt politicians. Because in Australia, our mainstream media is all kind of just controlled by this one guy, so it's never really honest. Shanks takes a more, I don't know, everyman approach, drawing you in with the re relatability before just laying down some of the absolutely horrific things that people have done. The channel ran a series called Bruds, where they talked about the crimes of John Barillaro, including his aid in the extinction of numerous species. In a video entitled Bruz Eternal, Shanks states that John Barillaro's lawyers have sent him an attention to sue for defamation. Shanks goes through each and every point, dismantling them and showing them why they're completely false, before going to an event hosted by Barillaro dressed in a female Luigi costume. There, the Friendly Geordies team asks Barillaro why he's threatening to sue them, which he states he's not threatening, he is going to. In a video uploaded on the 31st of May, entitled The Lawsuit Begins, Shank states that he has not been served any legal papers. However, multiple media outlets are reporting that Barillaro is suing the channel, and they're all running very slanted articles. Nearly every newspaper company in Australia was stating that the racist YouTuber was about to be taken down with some good old-fashioned Italian gumption. On the 3rd of June, uploaded to the channel, we called John Barillaro's lawyer. The producer, named Christo, calls John Barillaro's lawyer, asking to be served the papers. He mostly just gets hung up on for six minutes. In a video entitled, Lawyer Calmly Dismembers Me, uploaded on the 4th of June, the friendly Geordie's team goes to the offices of John Barillaro's lawyers where they are directly served the papers. One week after the media has already been running numerous slanted stories accusing Jordan of being a racist. On the 14th of June, a video was uploaded to the Friendly Geordie's channel entitled Arrested. Jordan Shanks takes a much more serious approach to the video, unlike his regular content, where he states that his producer, Christo, who we saw in the call in the video where he calls the lawyer, has been arrested. In the video, he reveals that the legal papers that they had been served with listed John Barillaro's address as Parliament House, which is impossible because Parliament House is the meeting place of the Australian Parliament, and I doubt fucking John Barillaro has a mattress under the Oval Office lectern or something. Shanks then states that on his way to university, the producer Christo spotted John Barillaro and attempted to hand back the papers with the false information, as the lawsuit could not go forward with factually incorrect information being presented. Hey John, John, John. Hey John, um, I've got something for you. John, I've got a lawsuit. You're suing my boss. John, John, John. Barillaro completely ignored Christo, got in his car, and drove away. Christo probably turned around and continued on with his day to university. Shanks then states that the next day, the Counterterrorism and Special Tactics Command Fixated Persons Unit, the Australian Secret Police, raided Christo's home. He then shows a video where an officer assaults Christo's mother and nearly kills his dog. I must warn you, the footage you're about to see is genuinely horrifying. You can film it? That's okay. okay. But you're not allowed to look yeah. I'm not allowed to look No, no mum, you can take my phone. No, you can take my phone. No, take my phone. Take my phone. Don't you see? Yeah, they're giving away evidence and try to um, run away with it. Yeah? Don't run off with evidence. Okay? Who are you doing this? You're out with you. Jesus Christ. Film this. What the fuck? This is bizarre. This is this is not Australia. Yeah, it's not Davis. Can you have the number? 
the pin was smashed up over you here. Heard, you heard a 51 year old woman. You're not I tripped over. over. You killed my dog. No, I tripped over. Old. Okay? No, you did not. Yeah, you pushed yeah. away. You pushed away. No, me no, down. you were assaulted. I tripped over. You That's assaulted me. It was. You assaulted okay. me. You no, just, I didn't. You just assaulted me. You I've did. got witnesses. We told I've you to hand you. over the phone. I have got witnesses. You handed it to her. I tripped over you. You. Christo was then shoved into an unmarked police car and driven off. He was released a few days later with some really confusing bail conditions, such as Christo must not approach John Barillaro or contact him unless it's through a lawyer. Go within 200 metres of any place John Barillaro lives or works, or possess or share images slash caricatures of the protected persons. Shank states that their own lawyer says that the bail conditions are some of the strangest he's ever seen. In the police documents released later to Shanks, they state that they state that Christo was li they state that Christo was arrested for violating the following for committing the following offences: stalking or intimidating, intending to cause fear of physical or mental harm. Now you may be wondering how does that make any sense? As the video that you've showed me just sa shows him being like, "Hey, here's the documents, right?" Well, actually, in the police report, it stated that on the Friday, the fourth of June, two thousand twenty-one, the victim was attending. John Barillaro is the victim, was attending a funeral at St. Mary's Cathedral on College Street, Sydney. About 12.30pm, the funeral had ended and the victim was returning to, on his, to his vehicle, which was parked nearby on Hospital Road. The accused, Christo, was seen to follow the victim for about 200 metres before approaching the victim as he approached the waiting car. The accused was filming using his mobile phone, saying, Deputy Premier, why are you suing my boss and you're, cor and you're corrupt? The victim got into his car and the accused rounded the car, still f still filming, attempting to speak to the victim through the window of the car. That is factually incorrect, because in the video that I have shown you, and that Shanks has presented on his YouTube channel, you can see that he wasn't following him for 200 metres. He didn't call him corrupt, and he didn't even say, Deputy Premier, why are you suing my boss? In the video, he actually says, you're suing my boss. I don't know what to say. This is disgusting. If any politician that's criticised is allowed to just get the fucking Mass Effect specters on their dissenters, what horrific precedent does that set for Australia? Are all journalists who ever file... Are all journalists who write articles in Australia now under threat of having their homes raided? Of having their family members attacked? We as Australians have to stand up and say that this is not okay. You are not allowed to hire the Mass Effect Spectres to assault, abuse, and berate your dissenters. You are not allowed to hire them to hurt your to hurt their pets. We as Australians have to say that we are better than this, and we are better than John Barillaro. And we do not condone his actions. I don't care if you're liberal or Labour or fucking atheist. We have to let the people know that this is not okay. We are better than this, and we are better than you, John. The YouTube channel has a fund set up for their legal fees, which will cover the, f which will cover the cost of the lawyer. Uh, I'll put a link down below. Please donate to it. I'm gonna donate it. I'm gonna donate to it once I get my paycheck, and you know, I post proof on Twitter, like receipts and stuff. But please, do not let this incident go down as a footnote in the history books. Make sure that the people remember this as something that was wrong and vile and can never happen again.